I was amazed. I actually have some thoughts. How here. long was the fight? Let me talk, bro. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. Jay was like, yeah, right no, now. Go on, go on. <laughs> the fights. I stopped caring. What I was going to say is, who's the most famous person you've met in person then? I mean, friends is the best sitcom, but yeah. Yeah, 100%. It's 100% the most influential sitcom of all time. I want to know, what are your guys' best and worst events? What event would you want to add? No rules, no restrictions. Mad, welcome back to Atypical. We're here um, recording today in our good friend Sonal's house. And it wouldn't be Atypical if we didn't start four hours later. And um, But yeah, we move. It's a very hot day. And um, it's warm. we're all sweating. But yeah, how are you boys doing? What's, what's, what's new? Good, man. What's happening in everyone's life, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> you start. Live update. i got no... Actually, we went Goodwood. Oh yeah! I don't even think we even recorded recorded since then. No, no I don't think we did. Probably not in oh. person. So we went good with me, Jay, when with a bunch of other friends, Usman, who you would have heard of on the podcast if you're avid listeners, and a Shut few up. others. It was really, really good. Great day out. We went a couple of years ago. Went again. Yeah, it was. It was just really dope. Lots of cars. What did you? Cars. What did you like the most about the day? <sighs> so one thing was really cool is Max Verstappen was there. Is it? Uh, Danny Ricardo was there. There were atypical met atypical met Max Max first stuff. Uh, that's there. what I'm hearing. That's yeah, true. Joe, he didn't wave at us technically. That he? counts. He waves when he goes past. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> waved at all of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely yeah. did not wave at us. But hey, he did technically wave in our direction. You're not wrong. Yeah. So you're not wrong. Clip that. <laughs> um, there was a few other drivers there. Remind me. Uh, uh, the team, the team principals. There was name. Sure, the Red Bull guy. Red Bull. Uh, yeah, yeah. Red Bull guy. Oh, the yeah. guy underneath all the allegations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Is it? What, what allegations? allegations are going around? You don't know. About you don't it. know about the allegations. He... First, would be great if you remember his name. Uh, Horner. Yeah, Christian Horner. Christian Horner. Christian Horner. Christian Horner. He was um, cheating on his wife. Apparently, getting with one frisky. Of works. Getting frisky with one of the team members. Team members. Yeah. Oh, all it's got hushed, hu- hushed away there, so it's all sorted. Uh, that's not allowed. Nah. No, no, nah. he's cheating on his wife as well. He's also his wife is oh, Jerry Halliwell. Jerry Halliwell, yeah, he's Spice Girl, right? Spice Girl. Right. Oh, yeah. well, well, tell me what you L. want. What's yeah. up with all these celebs? <laughs> Just <laughs> reading anyone? What's all these celebs flopping the most beautiful women? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but the thing what is, is, what is PK's problem? Who? PK. PK humble. He cheating on Shakira, ain't it? Oh, oh PK. PK. I was like, I was like, I was down that alleyway. He had PK. Yeah, PK. Fumbled, fumbled Gerard, the bag, bro. What did you think I said? PK, PK. PK like the initials. Oh, the initials. Yeah, right, yeah. right, right. But yeah, I don't know. What it is. Yeah, I don't know. What it's just doing. contagious with the slabs, isn't it? Mm. It's crazy. I wonder why though. Who is the other guy that we saw? The other Red Bull guy that made the new car. Uh, What's his name? Uh, Adrian Newey. Something Newey. Adrian yeah, Newey. Adrian Adrian Newey. Newey. So yeah, so, so he made a, he made a new car. Mm. If any of you lot have ever seen the Aston Martin Valkyrie, which is like a track mm. only super low, it, when it came out, it had like the most downforce of any car. Like you could drive it upside down. What the fuck? Yeah, that's how crazy it was. So now he's made a new car, branded as Red Bull. Yeah. So like it's their basically their first ever road legal car, track right. legal car, right. and it does faster times than F1 cars wow. because it has so much downforce. Yeah. That's mental. It's got an insane engine in it. You, we saw, we ducked down, and you can see from the bottom of the car, you can see literally right through it because <laughs> the cool. amount of aero that it needs. That's cool. It was unbelievable. Nuts. That's but yeah, insane. it was a great day. Beautiful weather. Uh, yeah, it was nice. Other than that, England, that England lost the Euros. England lost the Euros. I'm so glad I stayed at Goodwood longer because that match was so dead. Yeah, that match was Boy, so dread. So dead. I feel like we went somewhere else. Did we go out? You guys? We watched Deadpool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we went last week. That, was that it? Yeah, I think that was, was Goodwood then Deadpool. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so that, that's, that's pretty much Deadpool was yeah. amazing. 10 out of 10. Massim hasn't seen it yet. Uh, if you want to spoil him doesn't. in the comments, do it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> you think uh, he reads comments? Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, he does. He, he comments. Does. He does. He said, "I've got a problem." <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was about it, really. Damn. What about you guys, what's going on? You're, Me, you're I went UFC. UFC. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That was that was a vibe, bro. That was an interesting, interesting um, what's experience. It like? Is it an actual octagon? Yeah, yeah. Like fully caged up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it was at the Co-op Live in Manchester. Um, I actually wrote down a couple of thoughts. So I should. Uh, we'll you talk about money. Yeah. Money he asked though. me to come. I was like, yeah, "Money looking a bit long still." It was no, it's not even that, Jay. The actual event, even though it's yeah. in the UK, happened in American time. Four a.m. Why? Main we card. Four a.m. Is UFC an American brand? 
Yeah. Yeah. Of but this is the first time they've ever done it in American timing for an international event. Oh. Yeah, they've come. Wait, so when did the match start? They come to 4 the UK main card. It started. The main card started at 1 a.m. The main fight of the night was 4 a.m. Right? Yeah. yeah. Out of anyone, you'd be the most awake at that time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when I was like 19, bro. Yeah, to be fair. <laughs> I was falling. I actually fell asleep while sitting down and nearly fell forwards. Yeah, I've yeah, seen a compilation. Was it seated or standing? I was seated. Oh. I was seated. Yeah, I've seen the, the fight was standing. I've seen that compilation. Just a bunch of people just falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you seen that? <laughs> yeah, you did say that. Yeah. I've seen the same, and yeah. I, I would have been at a compilation if I was like closer to the the, the cage. How close were you to the? Yeah, where was your? I was seat? quite high up. To be oh, really? Yeah. Can you yeah. see from there? Yeah, yeah. And there's big screens all around. Um, Do you know how many people were there in attendance? The cage is right in the middle. Twenty. Uh, I want to say it was full by the end of the night, yeah. and that's twenty three and a half k. Twenty three. Yeah. Yeah. Was like in real life? What's the scale of things? Like, is the cage really small, or does it is it actually massive? The cage, the cage is the cage isn't Google huge, how big it is itself. But yeah. it's it's about the size, maybe a little smaller than a boxing ring. Right, okay. Really? Um, yeah, I would say. I would I would think it's bigger. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's way ring. bigger than a uh, like, boxing like, ring. Really? Like, On TV boxing it looks off, bigger. Boxing so ring. I don't know. Then, a maybe. standard octagon has a six foot high fence and it has a diameter of thirty feet or nine meters. Damn. What about a ring? Uh, nine meters diameter. Nine meters. Nine meters. Okay, a boxing diameter. ring has big. a boxing ring has about sixteen and twenty four feet between the ropes with two meters or two Wait, feet can outside. Can we get out of American bullshit? Yeah, I don't know Four, five, five to seven meters. Okay. Oh, okay. Fair. Yeah. So yeah. it's a definitely a lot smaller. I don't watch boxing, so I got. I got and uh, and a wrestling ring is probably about. Da, that's not sport. No one cares. Hey. Anyway. Hey. <laughs> no, the thing is, when we were in the we we when we went to watching the OT, we walked past the bleachers, so we thought mm. we just went in just to see what it looked like. And honestly, the view in the O2 was still pretty sick, even from the bleachers mm. for resting. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if it's if it's all tiered anyway, yeah, it's not hard to miss what's happening at the, was yours tiered? the action. Yeah, everything's yeah. tiered. Yeah, so. but it would be a bit different for UFC, right? Because you need to look over the cage as well. Through the, you have to look through the cage. Through the cage. Does I mean, that ruin it? it? Yeah. Not necessarily. It depends like what you're going for. If you're like a hard, like you'll care about every single moment of like what's going on, then I guess you need to be as close to the cage as possible. That's also like peas. Like I ain't got the bread for that. Mm. We, none of us have got the bread for that. So uh, what, 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 I don't see what row you were in, but I don't know if it worked A to Z. I don't know. It was, it was quite high up. What it's percentage like, of the way back would you say you were? I would say about maybe like, there's quite a few people behind us, to be fair, as well. But I'd say like 70%. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So pretty far back, but also you can see everything that's going on. Because yeah. we're high up as well. So you're literally, it's like a bird's eye view. You're looking down on the cage. And um, yeah, I mean, you can see everything. You can see the people coming in. You can see the people leaving. You can see like um, the commentator box, which is sick. Like John and uh, you put up there. a video. Like you, re, uh, your friend put up a TikTok, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of Buffer. Buffer, yeah, Buffer yeah, was yeah. The But the vibes were immaculate. Like start to finish, it was immaculate. And Buffer was just in person. It's just unreal. Like I, I could never understand like what. Like you can, you can feel the vibes through the through the screen when you're watching a UFC yeah, event. Yeah. But being there was just like, what the fuck is going on? Like yeah. it energy. was surreal. Yeah, amazing energy. Yeah. Probably not as much as. WWE still because that's more of a show. Mm. This was still like very. It's in the same realm though, isn't it? Because it's it's, it's fight fighting. fan yeah. type of thing. Yeah. yeah. How much did you pay? I don't want to talk about. <laughs> it. I'll be honest with you. Now you gotta say we said ours, right? Yeah, we said ours. No, that's that's good. That was your choice. Ah, la, 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 la. La. You lot pay four hundred. Yeah. Yes. 400. Yeah, you gotta say yours now. <laughs> 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 was it over under? Over under. It was under. Bro, was under. money's cheap. No, no, no. The the tickets were expensive. The money money itself was okay. The ticket was under four hundred. The ticket. It was under four hundred. Yeah. Was, was it, it under 200? 200? No, no, no. It was, no. Uh, it was 350. Oh. It was 350. So 50 quid less. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> the Wait, well, I, don't, I don't understand why you violated it, though. I don't, I don't get it. How like, far in advance did you buy it, though? Maybe a couple months. But when the, when the tickets came out. But oh, my, oh, my oh, reason oh, for okay. violating you was because you ditched another prepaid <laughs> event. That is very, very <laughs> true. That doesn't make sense. Fake news. Yeah, very true. We got gun for the price. Yeah, you didn't ditch anything. You just went. I just went, bro. But I but you enjoyed it, yeah? I was amazing. I actually have some thoughts How here. long was the fight? Let me talk, bro. <laughs> 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 it was a fucking fight. It was just kidding. I was just trying to get my words out of you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the fights. <laughs> Jay wants to kill yeah, you yeah, right go now. Go on, go on. <laughs> the fights. Were I stopped caring. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. I was waiting. <laughs> <laughs> waiting. Don the two situation. Bro. <laughs> L- like basically, the the whole thing was <laughs> like 
the whole thing was from like 11 p.m. ish until like seven in the morning. So by the time we stepped out, it was light outside again. Wait, the, wait, wait, wait. So the fight did finished. you not sleep then? Yeah, it was late. Bro. Barely, bro. Like we slept <laughs> that day and <laughs> we did you go with some work lot. Um, good boys, work boys. Shout out Zub. Right. So yeah, he watches. Sleep? He watches oh, and he follows. He deserves. He a does. Does. Did you nap during the day then or what? Yeah. So basically, that that night before we slept very late and we woke up very late as well and then we went into money. Like there's quite a lot, there's quite a bit of like exploration that we did during the day, but that kind of tied us up. 350 quid for an event that you're probably gonna fall asleep at. It was peak, it was peak, it was peak. A lot of people did. There was a lot snoring. Oh really? Yeah. Was that facts? Yeah, I can show you compilations, it's pretty oh, funny. Oh, really? But I mean, it's expected. Like, the Paddy fight didn't happen until I think, like, it was like 5.40 or something. Yeah. It was late. Yeah, and we watched the whole, like, we yeah. watched early prelims. I thought prelims, it was 1 a.m. main card, 4 a.m. start, but apparently later than that. It was was, it, was the place packed out? Yeah, yeah. I mean, to start with, when we got there for, like, 11, it wasn't... It never like is, it though, at 11, because it's the smaller yeah. fighters, and then they work their way into the big fights. So it's yeah. usually... When the main... There's usually early prelims, prelims, and then main cards. And then when the main card starts... How many main cards are there? It's usually it's about like five, 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 five. Oh, really? Card. Yeah. About four, five, four, five, four, five. So it's so you get a lot for your money, then. I yeah, mean, yeah. it's expensive as hell, but you get to watch a lot. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. If you're it's there from the start as well, you get to see everything, yeah, yeah, like yeah, all yeah. the fights in between. Like you know, the there's obviously a lot of ad breaks as well in between fights. That's not there when you're obviously in person. Like, but the one thing I did miss was the fact that there's no commentary. Mm. Like you get used to hearing the commentary in the back uh, when you're actually watching it. But do they do they sell anything to yeah, l- let you hear the commentary while it's live? Not that I know. Because they do in other sporting events. Is it? Yeah, yeah, football yeah. and snooker and cricket. They do the same in Wimbledon oh, as well. You maybe. can hear the commentators. Maybe yeah. there's like a VIP package that I just don't know about. But either way, like we're already paying yes. so much bread that, that we don't want to <laughs> yeah. fucking so much money know. for Manchester. For <laughs> <laughs> Manchester, but yeah. a couple of thoughts here. Went into Manny that day, the day of the fight. Got some food. And we we saw so many of the fighters just walking around oh, really? like in the oh, really? city. So we saw Bobby Green and oh. his team just walking around and stuff, Mad. which is hilarious. And it was so funny because my boy was in the car in the the front seat and he just starts screaming out of the blue out of nowhere. Yeah, we're like, what the fuck's going on? He's like, Bobby. And we're like, who? Do, what? Cinderella's here. We look out the window. <laughs> it's it's fucking Bobby Green just walking around, bro. And I'm like, oh shit, it's mad. And then like we took a couple of videos, blah blah. And then after that, we saw we went to a coffee shop and we were chilling outside. Yeah. And um, that's when we saw Modestos, Modestos okay. Bukowskis. Shout out to you because he had a great fight as well, amazing fight. Um, and he was just walking around with this team too. And we were like, uh, Zub went up to him and he was like, good luck for your fight. Hope it goes well, this, that, the other. Which was like, and he was like a six foot four Lithuanian man. Yeah, and he, yeah. looked, he looked European. But when he spoke, he was like, cheers, geez. Uh, have a good have a good like <laughs> no. we didn't expect it at That's all sure. um, and when he was fighting out of um, like when we googled where he fights out of it says out of Lithuania so we didn't expect him to have like, oh, a show oh right right like, he's just like, like so where did he get that accent from does he train in this country as yeah. in here yeah, he was raised here pretty much the whole oh, time right. and then um, when after that we went go-karting which was unreal oh man yeah. wow you've never done that with us <laughs> <laughs> I've been asking for years <laughs> where did you lot go bro we went out Mr. Mr. Producer, how long have we wanted to go go kite for? Yeah, yes. literally. Wait, yeah. have these look, have these look gone? No, they. I, I've been, but none of them like doing well, that. There you go, didn't it? We need to go. Yeah. Like, forget. Like, let's I'll be go. honest. Let's be honest. Like, shut I've been, been go kiting once before with other friends. Exactly. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Everything, Everything happens though. outside. When it comes to us, bro. Yeah. Oh, have you asked me to go go kiting? No. Yeah. No, you haven't. When we do, when we do, you never genuinely have. You'll be like, nah. Genuinely have. I've even said, forget go kiting. There's so many. I'll be like, let's do VR. Nah, let's do VR. VR's dead. This guy's so such a serious hater. Vr's dead. Vr's dead. <laughs> Must not want to go Vr. Did you go in the end? No. Oh, you never went. No. I do want to go Vr though for sure. Yeah. I mean, it was sick. Very fast. I didn't expect it to be like that. And it's close. I want to get to a car. So indoor. <laughs> yeah, indoor. indoor. <laughs> yeah, say that sentence again, please. <laughs> it's the closest I'm getting to a car anytime yeah, yeah. soon. So. Did, was it electric or petrol? Um, I don't drive, so I got no clue. You literally do. I don't. I did it make I a? Did it make, make a sound or no sound? It did make a sound. Right, it did make it. a sound. <laughs> <laughs> How would we know if it's electric? Like, what would it? It would just sound like a battery, bro. <laughs> what does a battery sound like? It, it just sound, sound like, like electric car. No, no, no. Like it wasn't like it didn't have like a high pitched tone or anything right. like that. It was just straight. Like, so I said, that's why I did the sound test. Didn't yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> and then you lot need to go to this place. Yeah, it's called Echi Memet. You might have heard of it. Steakhouse. 
Ad- Etsy Mehmet, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I didn't have that. Say it again, sorry. I think, I think it might be Etsy to me. Etsy, Etsy, Etsy Mehmet, yeah. I, mean, I got that. I got I've heard it's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. the M- Manny and Birmingham Steakhouse is good. <laughs> well, is it? We don't do that, do we? We don't do that. Oh, shit, that's where it came from. Yeah, the steakhouse. Yeah. Oh, shit, okay, fair. I mean, was it, what, was it like a British steakhouse though? Nah, but it was just like a oh, boss no, man. About it. Oh, it was yeah. a boss. Uh, Etchie Mehmet's apparently is beautifully, it's, apparently it's really nice. What? Etchie oh, Etchie, yeah, bro, yeah. Etchie was lit. And bro, th- was it, you? I feel like it was you, yeah? A while ago, you're going on a plane to, um, <laughs> you're going, you're going, <laughs> where do you know, Scotland, isn't it? Yeah. And you saw a football team. I've seen loads. I've seen literally all of the London stadiums from the sky. It's actually really cool. I think it was a, I know, as in, you saw a team in, in in front of you, like you saw a team walk oh. by. You. Do you remember? Like the yeah, I saw Fiorentina. It was them. Oh. They were they oh, were really? the same team. Literally, I wrote it down. Fiori- in purple kits, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they walked. I past. saw Luka Jovic. Did you really? Yeah, genuinely. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, Crazy. Yeah. I the remember you bringing this up. up. I remember you bringing this up, and I was like, "Bro, is this the same team?" Yeah, they walked right past us, sat at the back, and he was getting fed baklava. It was fucking <laughs> joke. Like one of them was getting fed baklava. It was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> what do you What did you think? Because I've I so I met uh, some wrestlers in person. I did like I went behind the scenes. I had yeah. a VIP pass for this this event quite a few years ago, and that was like my first proper time like being face to face with like athletes. Mm. Like they don't people count, who are Wait, what <laughs> wrestlers as athletes. Oh yeah, my Come first time being performers. Be Athletes, actors, okay. actors. Ah, athletes, <laughs> actors, and performers. Like, like, triple bro. threat, triple yeah. threat. Yeah. Well, thief, well, thief. But like, I don't know if you took notice of it now or maybe now in hindsight. But like, they're built. Oh, different, different. Like, because when different. I was in front of those wrestlers, bro, they're massive. Yeah, they're even them, even those a couple of them were like same height as me, if not a little bit smaller. Yeah, they just break shit houses. Even they compact, like, it, bro. bro. Yeah. Shout That's out! Exa- shout out! What Arsenal yeah. players are compact? <laughs> oh, you oh it was Rob Holding. Bro. Rob Holding, yeah, what a line! Yeah, what? yeah. It was a trial, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go on, oh, he called him a brick shit out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, did you did you like clock that in the moment or maybe now in hindsight? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean that's that's part of the reason why it was just so funny when I met when we met Modesto. Yeah. So I was like, this guy's gonna be like, hello, brother. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. but he was just like. Like he was built and he was he was he was nice and they seem all of them seem hella humble as well, bro. Like it's just you, you're fighting sport. Yeah, you gotta be I humble, mean, yeah, you gotta be yeah. humble. But yeah, like I also noticed it in Do the you? sense of like I you wouldn't expect I wouldn't expect UFC fighters to be humble though. I feel like it's yeah. in their nature to chat shit before they fight. I feel no, like it depends you get which way you punched in the go. face for a living. So when you're outside of the promoting zone, like in front of the cameras, yeah, like, you'd assume you'd be humble when you get punched in the face for a living, innit? It depends which. But way. They don't have a screw loose though. Some do. Oh, yeah, yeah some you do, have yeah. a screw loose to be a fighter. That's what I'm saying, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They they're crazy, but they're humble. Okay. You can go either way. You can either turn into like a McGregor, which is just straight bravado and like braggadocious, or you could be like very calm and mm. centered but yeah like very built they're built different very built it's and crazy i don't know if you have ever seen like a freaking like an athlete, athlete. in person footballers is different because uh, they're you know unless just you're like Dykes or something they're, they're, they're kind of like get away with it i've seen some cricketers in person i don't like fast bowlers and stuff so it's a bit different mm. if it was a normal cricketer it'd be different but fast bowlers Bro, some yeah. cricketers are fire yeah. shit yeah it's 100 percent indian the, team they bro. are they have no cardio in their 100%. training that's why i said fast bowlers so i saw what's in my in person and stuff like that <laughs> no but like mind. You can tell they build. I've a seen bit a few different. boxes and they are big as well. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it's just it's just crazy because you don't see these people on day to day, and you just mm. realize how different they are to the yeah. average person. Nuts. Even, Bro, even imagine within so like, so. you know what? I'm sorry. So you can go this. Time. <laughs> you can go this time. I was just gonna say, ima- you see these athletes. Imagine seeing a strong man in person. Oh, oh yeah, 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 Look, yeah. Eddie Hall would be Eddie Hall. Come on, the pod. It's, it's like when Kevin Hart <laughs> was with uh, Anthony Joshua and The Rock. Right? Yeah. 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 Damn, I disappeared. They do, bro. Bro, you, you even notice the difference between, like, not just weights, but also in, like, the prelims to, like, the 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 main card. They all look different in the way that, the firstly, in terms of their skill, like, you could see there's a clear skill gap. It's mental, like, early really? prelims to, like, yeah, to main card. Like, they're built different. But also, like, in terms of, like, their shape and body, they mm. seem a lot more conditioned. Their physique. Yeah. That makes yeah. more sense because they're, they're, they're the elite, innit? They're the elite at yeah, the top of the top. Sense, man. But yeah, man, I mean, long story cut short after that, um, the matches were amazing. The one fight that I was really disappointed was with was the Mokaev fight. Yeah, that was awful. Which was stupid as hell. Because bear in mind, this guy, the backstory is that there was so much backlash and so much like controversy behind this fight with 
this guy called Capi. Is it Capi or Capo? And they were fighting outside of the ring, like before in the build up to the fight and stuff. Yeah, they got to the ring. Is that allowed? Is that legal? Not, not necessarily. They were just you beefing behind right. the scenes. Yeah, oh, right. a lot. Yeah. And then they got to the ring, so much build up, so much heat, yeah. and we were like, everyone's vibing, hyped to this fight, yeah. They got to the ring, their team start fighting. Yeah. They start fighting and running at each other before yeah, yeah, the fight yeah, starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the fight starts, one, the first round, like three punches were landed. The first whole first round. It what happens. were they just doing? As in they were just running, like, running, just running, ducking. They were just yeah, trying yeah. to hit each other with that one shot sort of thing, and they were just kind of... Right. They didn't want to like involve themselves yeah. like in the fight, so it was just so disappointing. But and you Same know after man. that he got dropped. Makayev got dropped from the UFC. Oh yeah, he got dropped after that fight. It's mental. Then what I was like, you just got too much drama. You're too annoying. I don't really need the talent because I've got enough talent. Off you go, I can't be. Yeah. See you later. And he's like one of the biggest uh, like up and coming stars. How does it work then? Like, how does that work in UFC? His contract. I think his contract was over. They didn't resign. Oh. Uh, Did you see Dana White saying that like that he was. This this event it was this event right with the signing the um fight night or whatever the bonus was more hundred k or something oh, you uh, dropped they, it. I think they bumped it down yeah for a while now yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah he said he's but yeah. yeah after this after this event that yeah, the like oh it's like oh really no way Dana when yeah. you're making UK fights by at seven a.m. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're you're confused about the performance that's yeah. crazy well funny but he won't take accountability for that yeah. no he's a dictator yeah to be fair I never thought about that like what the hell were the athletes regime got, to even they fight they at that time, that, well, time. It's, that's exactly what happened with one of the one of the fighters the main card Leon Edwards and Bilal Mohammed yeah Leon was shit Leon was respectfully not not on point he was not and himself yeah in his right. post post fight interview he was like yeah I'm tired like I'm exhausted it's 7 flat. in the morning completely flat no but energy. like it was a bit of a sweet moment because remember at the, the same name. time Palestinian remember champion remember the name Palestinian. did you see, did you see first Bilal's ever Palestinian champion right. did you see Bilal's celebration when he's out in the streets in Manchester, you didn't see that. Oh, I don't think so. No, yeah. Like a rented bloody Lamborghini or something. <laughs> is it? Yeah. I didn't see that. No. Yeah. I mean, I was supporting Leon. I was supporting Leon as a like. You remember know, the name. I like his. I like his story. But you but still like. So would, like would that would that guy have won if it wasn't at seven a.m.? <laughs> it's hard to say. Basically, the, the, so they have they fought each fight. other once before. Leon they got cancelled. Violated him differently. Right. But Bilal's come a long way since then in the last two three years. Well, also, so not to cut you off, the first fight didn't finish because it was a no contest because Bilal got poked in the eye. He was getting violated though. He was getting pieced up. He was getting pieced up, but right. it was he never... Poked in the eye. Well, accidentally. Yeah, accidentally. Yeah, yeah. So they had to call the fight off. Okay. And then Joe Rogan even fucking warned him. He was like, yeah, you would have won. You might have... You think you might have won, but even then... But I was not fucking to be fucked with. Nah, like well, was, see, back then he was a lot worse. Now he's, yeah, he's changed, different. Though. He yeah. started training with Khabib and he's like, you're a lot better now. Yeah. So, But yeah, sad, so he just ragdolled him for five rounds. Yeah, he Slapped literally threw the guy around for five rounds. It's, it's mental. Crazy. But yeah, <laughs> unreal. That's pretty much it. That's a good life update. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was fun, man. Uh, I can't follow up that. <laughs> um, what I was going to say is, who's the most famous person you've met in person then? Like, like Queen. You sh- you've met her. To I mean, be fair, you know, the school runs, innit? I've shook her hand, bro. Yeah, that counts. We'll give that. A bit fraudulent. I don't. I bit oh, fraudulent. Bit fraudulent. <laughs> bit How? Other <laughs> than that, then. I don't need to do other than that. I've <laughs> met the queen, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I've never, <laughs> never met anyone famous. I've never met anyone famous. So. Nah. You must you have. I haven't. Otherwise, I would say one right now. <laughs> you never like met anyone shook the hand. Nah, I know you're well, one. Even in passing, I know you're one. Wait, Ash Dykes, bro. He had like Ash Dykes. Ash Dykes. Shout out Ash Dykes. Ash Dykes. Nice. 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 Yeah, nice. honestly. Outside of the pod. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He was outside. Too the many pod. litigations here. Yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah, nah. You need to touch grass more, bro. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, no one, no one comes to mind. So what was the point you bring that up? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what I would have gotten. But you don't get that. <laughs> Gotta say it. I had to say it. No, fair, fair, Mine's fair. probably a YouTuber. I don't know how many athletes I've seen. Who's Especially just, just on the street, a Danbul. Oh, Danbul, sure. Oh, yeah, we met Danbul in the... Oh, to be fair, yeah, I would... Nah, nah, I never really chat to him. Hamza's got a few. Mm. I have seen a few, to be fair. Yeah, yeah Hamza's got a few. Have you seen, seen Imran Khan? Prime Which Minister? one? Oh, Minister. that a cow. Give him a, give him a salam. What do you mean? Oxford you alumni, bro. Oxford, hey, the guy offended bro got. Yeah, isn't it? He's <laughs> right there in our guy. It's the only thing we got. Yeah, right. Shout out Modi, bro. <laughs> Ways, man. I'm not involved. Listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> as, as an Indian man, we love you, innit? <laughs> but yeah, I met Imran Khan uh, in the airport. That was amazing. My dad, that, yeah. my dad was leaving. He's like, my dad went to pray. He's like, oh, Imran Khan. We're like, that's what? mental. What? We legged it yeah, for departures, bro. Oh. And we was there. And then we gave him a salami. He put his hand up to us. I love like, that. Even, but that was sick. Where, uh, where airport was that? Heathrow. It was like 10 or 3 or whatever, innit? Um, mm. I've met <laughs> one, I've seen a bunch of cricketers uh, Michael Holding we've seen Makram Ramizaraja that's it we've seen 
Well, okay, so when you say scene, do you mean actually had a one to one combo and met? They or were just li- like they literally there? came out of the commentator booth and I was down on the ground like right mm. next to them. Because mm. so. we've seen when we've gone hundred, we've seen yeah, we've seen, seen people. We saw there. Shane. People. Yeah, exactly. We yeah. saw Shane. R. I. P. When yeah. he was still about. Yeah, that's yeah. really sad. Uh, but I wouldn't really count that. Yeah, yeah, I, I wouldn't. Count. The only I can't commentate like half hour because they were right in front of me. Sure. So it was a bit different. Do I count Kendrick because he was like there? No, he was there. Tour don't count, bro. If if his counts, nah, because I was on stage anyway. No, I mean backstage. Half yeah, half count. That was half count. I'm counting it. Uh, He's still going, bro. <laughs> I've met, I've met side men. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have. I met. Yeah, um, I, know, yeah I was an event. What's right? his name? That was an event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that um, Eurogamer. The band Eurogamer. Come oh, on, Nick. Um, you actually went Eurogamer. What's his name? Yeah. Crazy. Out of all the people, <laughs> him. Out of all the people, he <laughs> went Eurogamer. It would have been me to be the most outlandish. To be fair, you went with. I went my brother, and then the second day I went with another friend. Yeah, oh, that's sick, is even more surprising. To be yeah, fair. to be fair, that's more surprising than him. Um, <laughs> oh, his brother. Who was the second friend? friend? Um, Slash H. Slash uh, Shisha. Let me just yeah. say. Oh. Shisha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's he doing? That's, that's why way I'm more so surprising. Did you, take, did you take a portable shisha pipe? <laughs> <laughs> it's 2014. That's bro. mental. That's 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 yeah, and then I met Freezy, and I met freaking what's his name? Syndicate. I met Matt HD Gamer. Mormons. Okay, excluding YouTubers, then, isn't it? Other yeah, you that. went to a freaking. Brother, there's another one. You, you set it up. Yeah, the goat. <laughs> yeah, the goat. Yeah, I met the right. goat, Cody Rhodes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Current WWE yeah, champion. Wrestler, yeah. I turned this whole shit off, man. Current Literally the whole shit off. Wrestler. And like a bunch of other legends who were there that day as well and stuff in WWE. Right, who yeah. have you met on no, the no, street, no, man? Like, no, no, no. I met them back, backstage. VIP. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. You bought it. You bought the experience. I had a chat with all of them. Bro, Cody's the best one because he literally had a conversation. Yeah, I sat down with Page Win. Oh, hold on. Let me team up. Let me team up. Who was the biggest dickhead out of all the sidemen? Oh, Vic. <laughs> 100%. Brown on brown crime. Yeah, Freezy explain, was blessed. Explain it, explain it. Freezy was blessed. Freezy was blessed. Uh, Vic was a dickhead. Though. But to be honest, this was back in 2014. And I, could feel, like, <laughs> I, I could feel like they were a bit socially awkward at the time because they didn't have their own booth back then. That was like a year before they popped off. Right. Uh, it's back in 2014. Right. So, November 2014. So. Yeah, Vic asked him for a picture and he was just like, he's went on his phone. I was like, right, I'm sick, bro. Well, you didn't even say anything. He was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just went on his phone. I was like, oh, so he basically blanked you. Yeah, well, he's, he's Indian, isn't it? He must have saw like. Uh, yeah, but he's not really. He's Indian, a coke though. He's a gorda. <laughs> He bro, he literally DJs in High Wycombe. <laughs> <That's mental, laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> so mental. I could say so much about Vic Star, but. Listen, we <laughs> might. We yeah. might. We listen, know you Sidemen, hate him. Sideman Club. Go Sideman on, say, say him. SD One, men. two, three. What are the top three? <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Nah, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Bro, we need that. We need, might need to edit this whole shit out. What has Big Star done for the Asian community? I agree. Facts. I agree. What has Big Star Facts. done for the Asian community? Ain't You're not wrong. Shit. You're not wrong. Does, as he, someone does he speak an Asian language? We don't even know the colors of the Indian flag. From? From? India. He's singing it. He's singing it. Vikram Singh Bon. Yeah. Oh my days. Yes, he's Punjabi. We're gonna guess he's Punjabi. Yeah, he's Punjabi. He's Punjabi. He's gonna be Punjabi. That, no, is, see, that see, don <laughs> never <laughs> walk out. I'll tell you that right <laughs> now. <laughs> no, but honestly, Muse side, what is he doing with the Asian community? That's yeah, that's he's like done he's done nothing he's done at nothing. all. As one of the most influential Asian dons in the whole country. Honestly, you're top five. You're yeah, but he's not Asian. Yeah, he's he grew up in the countryside. Sheffield. He had a chicken and a duck. But then that's that's even a bigger conversation to have. He's a Sheffield boy. That's about as Asian as it oh, gets. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken and duck. Have you not heard the duck story? <laughs> oh my days, Vic's duck story. Yeah, he's I'm not. Try- I'm not trying to give Vic clout, but <laughs> yeah, he's got was his, so he had a chicken and a duck, and they became like best mates basically I do over know time. This. His mom, and then the wo- one day, um, not a wolf, a fox came. Yeah, into yeah, his yeah. garden. He came the next day into the garden. The duck was like fucked up. Dead. Kebab. Yeah. Duck was done out. Yeah. Kebab. <laughs> Feathers <laughs> everywhere. Cheese kebab. He couldn't find his chicken. He was like, where the hell is his chicken yeah. gone? He munched it. Then, a f- like a few months later, he goes to the local farm yeah. and his chicken's there. How does he know it's the same chicken? I don't know. Maybe it had like a, a tag on it. <laughs> How it does he know? Yeah, I'm yeah. calling cat. <laughs> and then it like, it like ran to him or something. <laughs> 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 and he was like, this chicken's an OG. And then they, he was asking them like how they found the chicken and stuff. And they were like, yeah, one morning it was just like trying to jump the fence, trying to get in the farm. Because it clearly outran this fox somehow. Mm. And it There's just no dipped. way. And then in real. the farm, it would just, it wouldn't hang out with the chicken. It would hang out with the ducks. Can I be honest? Oh, that's yeah, valid. Duckling. That's, that's valid. That's valid. Oh, okay. That last bit. Yeah, maybe. that last one. Because I was yeah. going to say, up to that point, Bullshit. that's just all it's lies it's from his parents just to make oh, sure yeah. he's not upset. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, like 100%. the goldfish. Oh, the goldfish, yeah, swim down sewage. We yeah. flushed down the toilet. Nah, it would like chill with <laughs> the ducks valid. in the pond and shit. That's valid. Yeah, maybe. That's valid. maybe. 
Very, you, know, you know ducks when they're first born, whoever they see is that's what they take as their uh, they have that the imprint. That's what they take yeah. as a mother or father. Oh. That's what jo- Joey shout out Joey is it Joey or Chandler? They both. It was I both. Don't watch oh, it was friends. both. Oh, okay. They had a goose. A goose. You're right. It is a, a goose. goose and a and a duck. Did they have a goose and uh, a duck? Maybe they had a duck at one point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, listen, maybe. sitcoms are shit in it. Yeah. yeah. They're just not. I mean, Friends is the best. Seeing Friends though. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not. Yeah, it's just not though, is it? Yeah, 100%. It's, it's not the best sitcom. It's not better than Twins. Yeah. And it's what sitcoms aren't. Yeah, 100 It's 100%, it's 100% the, most the most influential sitcom of all time. Nah. Influential? Nah. I'd say Seinfeld. Nah. Or, or yeah. Curb. Nah. Curb. Seinfeld is for sure. Seinfeld Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Modern. Not even close. It's good. No, and honestly, close. The Office is better than Friends. The Office is 10. The Office is so bad. It's so I don't even want to get into it. Only the Slow one. I've never laughed at that show. Only the Slow one. Brother, so the first season, the first season is not that good, right? But there's an age-old story about that because they didn't know what to do with Steve Carell's character, right? Really? Yeah. They didn't build it around him? No, what I'm saying is they had a completely different tensions what they wanted to do season one. In season oh. one, he's way more of a dickhead. Oh, okay, okay. And then in the later seasons, he's way more of a likable, like, look at this likable okay. loser sort of <coughs> character. Yeah. Cool. yeah. So that's why it changes up. But Office is good. Oh, I love that show so much. I don't get it. It's not a sign. <sighs> You know what it is? It's deadpan humour. I get the humour. Yeah. I watched the UK one. But I, I, it was too uncomfortable. I couldn't it's do it. so shit. Which means it was good at what it was doing. The American one... It's so good. It's just... It's the UK is just better, isn't it? It's top three. Like, it's top like three. the most watched show like every year, by the way. I yeah. know. Like so, top so ten, it's I know, love always... It. I just don't get it. So it good, it's bro. like basically at one point used to solo carry Netflix. You know that? Solo carry on Netflix? Yeah, which is why yeah, like uh, Peacock... Sense. Peacock basically established a whole streaming platform from The Office. Just for The Office. Just because The Office is that. Very that rewatchable, isn't it? It's, a it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. It's so fucking good. I feel like a lot of people use it as white noise. Yeah. Put yeah, it on yeah. The, it's one of those shows that they put on the background. Yes, but I think all sitcoms are that. That's what I'm saying. It's it's just yeah. it's pointless. <laughs> Mindless. I, I it's agree. It's a different type of show. True. Is it pointless though? <laughs> that is a use for it. The only reason I hate on them is because I just feel like I've never left sitcom. Even The Office. I love mm. The Office. Never left it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, what I was saying about the like, I, I never come You're away. Fun. There's certain TV shows I'll watch and I'll be like, I'll be watching a TV show, right? Yeah. And retroactively, I'll be thinking in my head like, ah, oh, this just makes me think so and so is clear. Like oh, it makes me think something okay. is more meaningful. Like, oh, something did something better. Fair. But, I never find myself like thinking about oh, that office episode. That office uh, episode was really funny. So me personally, it just doesn't leave a last impression as much. But to answer your question, I'm gonna steal my sister's because my sister's about the celebs. Okay. My sister's my sister's worked in Chelsea, right? So she has seen some famous people. So I'm gonna steal some of hers. <laughs> that doesn't count. Yeah, That's it doesn't. Fine. It's it close doesn't enough. Close, close enough. enough. Uh, I've met my John brother Jones met Hulk then. Hogan. Shook his hand. To be fair, that and goes. Jimmy and Jimmy. I'm not gonna Jimmy say Hart. anything. <laughs> That's yeah. that's pretty and weird. Phil, he, and Phil Heath as well. He's a bodybuilder, one of yeah. the greatest bodybuilders of all time. Where did he be? Hulk Birmingham, Hogan, Birmingham mm. expert, like muscle and fitness expert. He shook his hand, and Hulk Hogan was like, "How you doing, brother?" <laughs> and my brother's like, "Whole childhood was like." <laughs> complete, I can promise complete. you, after that, Hulk Hogan went, went and washed his hands. <laughs> <laughs> he honors and washed his hands. True, because he's notorious racist. racist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, sorry, carry on. Um, it's, <laughs> not, it's no <laughs> way. Just do a statement. It was like um, uh, Matthew McFadden. Who you guys should know because yeah, yeah. he's in Deadpool. He's the Pride and Prejudice guy. He's, he's the main guy succession. in Pride and Prejudice. Yeah, he's he is Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy. Oh right, sure. Darcy. Oh no, I know that. Yeah. I don't know who this guy. He's but very who did famous. he play in Deadpool? I don't remember. Was he's he in Sherlock? Villains. Sherlock as well. I don't think he's in not, Sherlock. Not that one. The other Sherlock. Mm. Not the. Oh the no, it wasn't. Okay, yeah, okay, it wasn't. Fair, fair. So Myth- Matthew McFadden, she's seen Robert Pattinson. Oh, oh, that's, cool. that's probably the number one. Or. Um, Who's the woman? This is a famous British actor. I think her name is. Uh, she was in GI Joe, famous Br- British actress in GI Joe. Joe. She's done other stuff. I forget her name. She's a blonde I'm not white good woman. With names, to be honest. British actress. Yeah, I'll I'll load it up. There's you talk. I'll my because uh, my girl works at Heathrow. She's seen quite a few people come through. That makes sense, First yeah. class wing and stuff. I can imagine. Yeah. She's seen like Craig David, Stormzy, Sick. Uh, was it Tiny Sunday? Temper. D- <laughs> too slow with it right yeah. Yeah. actors I think she's seen a couple of actors too That's but waves. we've are in prime position to see loads of actors we just nev- are never there but so many go through Windsor with oh, those events and sure, stuff bro. Tom Cruise is always there George Clooney is always there and a lot of people have yeah, seen yeah I have a friend um, Mark Crane lives there yeah my lives in Windsor uh, oh, Sienna Miller is who I was talking about Sienna Miller so basically 
But I have a friend who works Pinewood, to your point, because Pinewood is also around the around mm. the corner, yeah. and he does security in Pinewood, and uh, he has seen a lot of famous people, which he has to write Can an NDA. Can he get them on the pod? No, he can't. He has to write an NDA. He d- they, them dons are just like they're in the background, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess you can spoil movies. And yeah, yeah. <sighs> so he's trying an NDA. And just get a life though. Oh, you meant get him, him on the pod? No, no, the friend. No, no, bun the friend, bro. That's get hilarious. him to get Tom Cruise on the How pod. How the yeah. fuck? Just f- be like, yo, do you want to come on a pod? If waiting, waiting, waiting to say no. <laughs> It's not about He does live near Windsor or something, right? He regularly They've visits. all got yards around here, bro. Does it count yeah. that I know someone who's been an extra in a Marvel movie? Yeah, Jay, you know someone better, course. brother. Nah, that's the sister of a brother. Yeah. That's different. Yeah. That's different. <laughs> oh, I never met her. Oh, okay. Who yeah. and anybody can how do you sign up to be an extra? I think it's pretty easy, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah there are different websites for it. Yeah. My boy was he's you've all met Danny in it. Yes. Yes. Danny was an extra in a show, but I forget which one. I think it was Stranger Things. Like oh, he was actually cool. in like a uh, yeah, so you just apply for it as well. You can just apply. Yeah. I mean, to Jay's point, we hundred percent are in the area to see loads. One so Heathrow, many. two Pinewood, Netflix. Have a George big Clooney. Massive George Clooney Windsor. has a massive million dollar house in Reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How, How long, long is he L? there though? Imagine all that money you're buying a yard in Reading. Reading. What a wanker! Some areas in Reading are really nice. <laughs> what a wanker! Yeah, guy, you're in Reading. What a wanker! <laughs> 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 money can't buy class. That's what they say, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. He was literally <laughs> James Bond. <laughs> No, George Clooney wasn't. Oh, George Clooney. Okay. Yeah. Who are you thinking? I was thinking fucking um, one of the minute. Yeah, I was one of them. Fucking great chat. One, one of the of fucking them. white boys that are done yeah. James Bond in it. Right. I would assume so. That's why you said he was James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> what? Were you thinking yeah. of like Sean Connery or something? Wrong. Yeah, I think it might be Sean Connery. Yeah. Sean Connery. Different guy, though. Isn't it? Yeah, That's very different. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Jay, did you have anyone other than Luke Jovic? <laughs> 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 Dan Bull, I said. I'm uh, trying to think. I maybe have seen people passing, but never yeah. in a situation where it's left an impression on me. Yeah, fair enough. I've fair seen fair like s- like smaller uh, guys. Fair enough. I guarantee you, if we were weird like that, we camped outside the studio. Oh, 100 percent. Oh yeah. To get 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 it written. If off. we were weird, <laughs> one of our <laughs> one if of I, if I one of <laughs> our <laughs> one of our friends from back in the day in Hershaw, who I still chat to semi regularly. Um, Wife. Why friend? Because you none of you man chat. Yeah. Oh, so your friend? Yeah. Okay. But even uh, though I chat to him barely now. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he used to live in Hamel Hampstead in London. Oh yeah. When he was at uni, and loads of actors lived there. Mm. So one day he was coming back from Tesco, walking on the pavement, and then he looked to his left, and the I guy that was passing about. him on the <laughs> street <laughs> was Tom Hiddleston. Whoa. So then he just like walks home. A chat into Tom Hiddleston the whole way. That's chill. There is, isn't it? He's an Eton boy as well, so he knows Slough for sure, bro. Yeah. That is Wait, you've got connections, bro. I'm thinking. Is that. <laughs> I thought the story was Tom Holland. Is that a different person? I don't know anyone that's met Tom Holland. Oh, I know Andrew someone, I know someone who, on bicycle who lives in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was in surreal. Andrew yeah. Garfield rode, pi- rode by oh, me yeah. on a bicycle. I could have <laughs> stopped him. Well, that was Fuck a bit that. weird, didn't it? I didn't want to be that guy. I know someone who lives in the house next to Tom Holland. That's who I thought you were talking about. Jay, that's who I thought you were talking about when you said... Oh, yeah. no, but I don't... They're, they're not... I just know them through, like, family and, okay. and They friends. must be minted. The t- she's married to a rich yeah, guy. Fair, isn't it? Isn't it? Tom Middleton seems like a very down-to-earth guy, to be honest with you. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he seemed like it yeah. from the conversation of what I remember he him saying. He played soccer, didn't he? So he must be calm. Yeah, he yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's next on the agenda, lads? I say we talk about current events. Something going on right now. <coughs> One that's happening speak. right now. Yeah, nothing more current than the Olympics, which mm. wouldn't be current when, when this is released. No, we but can release it next week, don't we? Yeah. Okay. How much? How much you been watching it? Barely. What's our runtime? Uh, as much as possible, moment? which is barely any. Well, Jay, check our runtime at the moment. How do I do this? Where am I meant to be looking? The, the red in the bottom right. Oh yeah, forty. 40. Alright, cool. <coughs> mm. Yeah, right. barely any. I've barely watched anything. Nothing. Uh, I've tried Barely. to watch as much as possible, but it's been ma- max one event a day. I've yeah, watched my goat. Yeah, of course you did. Go eat. Le- 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 Go dicky. Yeah. It Kate, doesn't. It doesn't, Le- it doesn't oh. quite roll, does yeah, it? Yeah, I tried to actually practice that. Yeah. Right, and I still put <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kate Ledecky, yeah. my goat, 1500 meters. Yeah. She's built different. The goat, right? she built, yeah, she built two different. Uh, other than that, obviously. <laughs> Turkish man, shout out my guy. So did sick. you actually watch it? Nah. Oh, um, oh, oh, I did. What I did watch was the um, the shooting. The Guatemala got their first ever gold in history. That was oh. dope. I, those, you know, those moments when those dons get the first like medal ever for their country, Special. let alone a gold. It's just like it's emotional. Right? Philippines did it a couple 100%. years ago. You know about that? So that list has come out. I don't know if you lot have seen the list. You probably 100 percent have. 
of all the countries and what they're paying the athletes yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. depending yeah. on the medals that they get yeah. what so bring. what does Guatemala give that's Ooh, what I want to know a fucking island because what do they get gold <laughs> <laughs> Did that person get gold or just admit? no? They got gold. They brother. got gold. Yeah, so I need to know a what gold, they get. And a gold and Olympic record. Because I think it's what is it? Kazakhstan give you like a penthouse like two, suite, two bedroom apartment. Two bed, yeah, it's crazy. And yeah. GB give you like thirty grand. Yeah, that's but not sick. Sick. But but got the actual list. Yeah, I have. But so no, no, play no. game. Uh, that's a joke. That's a quick, yeah, fire, might as well. quick fire, quick fire. I'm gonna, I'll up. Google what the Guatemala is because I don't think that was on the list. Yeah, no, definitely not on the list. They weren't expected to get any pay yeah, out to you. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's just dope. I mean, uh, yeah, it's just dope. Obviously, Britain's going to get a lot of gold. France are getting, France are doing way better than they've probably done in other Olympics. Home advantage. Home advantage. Home home advantage tax, every time. Home advantage tax yeah. is huge. I mean, to, to speak to that, the, the most we've ever had uh, Team GB, that is, not mm-hmm. Pakistan course not <laughs> um team gb i think 29 gold medals which was learned 2012 and they projected at the Tags. beginning of this olympics that we would get estimated like 20 Ooh. medals so 29 is the most i don't know why it is that that like uh home tax is nuts yeah. but um yeah so yeah let's play this game like jay said he spoiled it a bit <laughs> um great britain got an annual stipend of 36k okay but dollars mm. Sure, 36k sure. so it makes me wonder if you get like uh, it's even less yeah if you get exactly if you get like multiple goals does it like go up because i don't know if you might have followed but you know bradley wiggins yeah have you seen bankrupt him? yeah he's gone completely bankrupt but that's his fault isn't it? he's an idiot yeah he is what did he squander the money or what so no he uh his uh i can't believe i can't remember, I can't remember his limited i think someone company. might have done it dirty whatever it was his company went bankrupt he's not an idiot and um he's wow. uh <laughs> yeah then what? he's uh like debating whether to sell off his gold medals. Oh, no Who way! You can't be in that state. When Listen, you're a multi-millionaire like Bradley Wiggins, Tour de France winner, Olympic Tour and all France, that, okay. yeah. bro, bro just, you, you can out. literally just go on Instagram and do a couple adverts. I know, right? There you go. I know, right? Because like, what's the? He could. He is like one of them. He's he, become a brand ambassador for anyone. Cameo. Wait, bro. didn't that happen to cameo. what's that guy? The yeah. Boris Becker. Boris he went, Becker, to, he went yeah. to prison for f- tax evasion. Yeah. It's prison. Boris yeah. Becker is a loose nut, though, isn't it? Oh, is it? So it's a bit of tax on that. German tax. Yeah. yeah, he's crazy. <laughs> no, but like uh, Bradley Wiggins, you're right, because he's a big enough name brand. I mean, how many people can you, how many people, cyclists can you name? Mark Chris Hoyish, Lance Armstrong, Bradley yeah. Wiggins. Yeah, honestly. There you go. That's, <laughs> That's all I got. Um, That's all I got. And Mark Cavendish didn't even win that. No, I think Cavendish did win Tour de France. I don't think he ever did. There's also two more which are, I guess we'll which are Team GB's most um, bro, decorated. You know Chris Hoy, bro. Chris Hoy, Chris Hoy, Chris Hoy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the, the, what's the woman's the name woman, again? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The two, uh, the couple. Yeah. <laughs> no, Wait, this I, looks bad if we've got names of This looks so bad. By the way, she's a dame and she's got the most uh, gold medals. Yeah, yeah. Like, she was um, sick. Laura Kenny. Laura Kenny, Damn. I think her name is. Yeah, I think it's another Laura one. Kenny yeah. and Chris Kenny, I think. That's the couple. I'm thinking of someone else. I saw They both compete. I'll so they're the they're actually UK's most decorated Olympians. Both of them. Both of them. Damn. They're married. Yeah. She's UK's most female. I think five gold medals. He's the most. He beat Chris Hoy. He's got like seven. Damn. So I'm, I'm pretty shot. sure that there's that Laura and Chris Kenny. <laughs> I was out of the shot off the you can look that up. Yeah, um, anyway, let's let's just do top five. What do, who do you man think are the top five most yet gold medal? Bam. Let's not talk about any incentives like yet penthouse or anything. I'm just saying oh. dollar, dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Oh, dollar, dollar bill. Yeah. Got to be US in it. They got to be up there. No, they're, they're like low. Okay. They're okay. like the same as GB. Really? I feel like I mean I kind of remember the list, so maybe yeah. I'm frauding it. But it's like Serbia up there. They're not on the top five. It's Netherlands there. They're not in the top five. Germany? They're not in the top five. Just I remember seeing the list on Instagram as well. There's a lot of and I remember seeing UK. Victoria Pendleton. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not the one who's... I know, but that's not the sure, second sure. star. I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, the most paid... Greece? Uh, China. <laughs> nah, China are giving you jack shit, bro. Uh, I don't know. Hungary. Japan. Nope, nope. Is it okay, give us a continent, innit? Um, it's going to be here one, all day. One, two, three... Four of them. Hong Kong, what's that? That's his own thing. No, what number? <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 number one. What the fuck? Hong, Hong Kong, Kong's number one. 769,558. Say that say again? Say the number again. 769,558. I was going to say uh, four out of the top five are Asian continent. So you've okay. got one. I remember Yo. I remember hearing the commentators say it one time. Oh, I changed okay. my citizenship next year and try for the next Olympics. So man. how... Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, are there any yeah. other Asian countries that are super high? Yeah, think about it. Taipei, oh, Denmark, India. Taiwan. Taiwan. Yeah, Is Taiwan. it? Taiwan. Taiwan's number three, 720k. Damn. Yeah. Wee. China is not there, is it? Nope. This is... just Think about sure. it like this. Think about it like this. I'll give you a little... Qatar. 
I'll give no. I'll give you a little like <laughs> Saudi. I'll give you a little clue. No, think about <laughs> it. You're not gonna give like <laughs> Americans if the Americans win the most gold medals. Yeah. You're not gonna give oh, them a million every true. time. Kazakhstan. Right? It's all they're the up there, they're top ten. That's what I said. The one they the ones that give the penthouse. Two bedroom apartments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is definitely definitely. It's, it's all the ones that are never gonna win. <coughs> it's definitely dollars. Nah, Mongolia win. It's not their own currency. It's definitely dollars. Yeah, dollars. Yeah, yeah, it's only dollars. Yeah. If it's their own currency, Hong Kong gets six million Hong Kong dollars, whatever that is. Oh, that's what I was like. That surely has to. That's be black market yeah. money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. Uh, what? Sh- who doesn't win anything? I don't um, know. Give us a couple of like clues, isn't it? I gave you a lot, brother. Asian, oh. East Asian, or what? Yeah, East Asian. East Asian, Thailand. Singapore? Yes, they're number five. So it's you've got one, three, and five. Is Singapore there? You've got number two. You've got all the Asian That's countries. It. Singapore is number two. Singapore, yeah. Singapore, no, there's one more. Singapore. Oh. Which, to be honest, I don't actually know the continent because it's a weird one. You're going to correct me in a second. Uh, I'll just Greenland. say. You're going to say like Greenland or something? No. Oh. Number four, which you didn't get, is Turkey. Turkey. Oh, first. So Wait. what do you really classify sure. that? So, oh, sure, so sure. yeah, so Hong Kong, 769K, Singapore, 737K, Taiwan, 720K, Turkey, 530K, and then Thailand, 365K. Bro is rich. Yeah, bro. The shoot is rich. But I mean, it makes sense because I saw this really interesting thing about Singapore and Singapore politics about how they went from like a third yeah. world country to first world, Dumb. which is the it's idea a famous that... famous speech. From the yeah, right they've got a really famous politician. It's a yeah, well-known thing or something. Me. And basically, they... Or all about like what's what's the term? Yeah, um, meritocracy. Meritocracy. So yeah. it makes sense that they would give the most money for people who. The more you know. achieve, the better you yeah. are in society. Okay. Yeah, fair. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it makes sense. I'm not surprised by them, mm. but uh, yeah, that's the list. That but that was just the little the teaser. Mm. I want Ooh. to talk about teasing. Teaser. teaser. I want to know what are your guys' best and worst events, and let's keep this short because I want to know. Okay, it's funny you did this because I was actually going to bring you. <laughs> Yeah. I was going to s- slew him for what he said in the chat yesterday. Yeah. Unbelievable take. I know, right? That's why I brought it up. Unbelievable so take. Best, let's go, let's go best. Let's go best. Everyone's favorite event. Then we all go worst. And then I've got, <coughs> what, what event would you want to add? No rules, no restrictions. Oh, so let's, okay. let's go with that. I don't have an opinion because I barely, I barely watch. I'll some just experience. say badminton. What's, What's your best? favorite sport to watch? It's got to be 100 meter final. UFC, bro. Nah, I need mm. it. Is there boxing? Yeah. I haven't watched it. <laughs> what is wrong with this the play into the, isn't it? I'll say I'll say badminton. I'll that say is badminton. the best. Are we I'll saying in it. this particular Olympics or just in general? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they will, they will yeah, yeah. I, I, I do like watching badminton. To be fair, like for when sure. I do watch, I, I like watching it. So yeah, I'll go for it. A hundred meters. Uh, hundred meters. What we saying, best and worst. Best and worst. There's yeah. a difference between the aura of the event and the actual event itself. Hundred meters. Uh, dead, true, true. I probably enjoyed gymnastics the most. To be honest. Yeah, me too. Actually, of course the, you do. This this the, the ones with the ribbons, in it. No, no, that's no. Jay. No, the Jay no. all over that. He likes the ribbon. That's not an Olympic event. Not anymore. Yeah. No, it's not. It used to be there. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? There's loads of. But stuff I've seen there. ribbons at the Olympics. You just you can't beat floor. But it's just too good. Yeah, it's, it's uh, gymnastics is dope because there's just so much variety and they're just doing so yeah, much yeah. all the time. It's just mm. 100 meters is just moving in it. Gymnastics is probably my favorite. At least. It's hard for me to say what number one is. It's a bit of a tax because there's but so many put together. Yeah, but this so definitely so far, this is gymnastics definitely being... It's just the Simone Biles story is the, the one of the most interesting stories. Yeah. One, she's one of the few... The, okay, to a bit tangent, to Hoshi's point, Hoshi said to me that, you know, Olympics don't hit the same. Mm. And the multi-factors that go into that. Number mm. one, could be nostalgia tax. Number two, there is a definitely clear lack of superstars, yep. obviously, it's right? transition to the Transition, yeah. yeah. One of the few superstars is Simone Biles, right? So it's always interesting yeah. to watch that and her resurgent story about how, you know, she... She nearly bunked she out. She dropped out of Tokyo dropped out for and mental health and stuff. Yeah, now she's won the she team She didn't compete in Tokyo, did cold. she? No, no she, she only, didn't. She competed in one and then dropped out. I oh, yeah, yeah, she started and then like she dropped. Yeah, yeah. So Wild. she won... She won the... She's already won the individual... Which is the best one to be fair? Because so you got the team one where everybody has like six events. Like, all right, let's but get no, Tom's turn in. But even then, even in the team one, she carries so unbelievably oh, 100%. hard. percent. They were doing floor, yeah. and her teammate literally fell on her ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. they still won gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miles Simone. is yeah, one of the greatest. Yeah, gymnastics, yeah, yeah, for sure. Gymnasts of all time. So that so was much sick. power in such a tiny frame. She's like it's really five four. She's a four, eight, four, four eight. Four eight. Oh, she's four eight. Yeah. Four eight. She jumps twelve feet. Four eight. She jumps twelve feet, bro. Bro, you know how how I know? Yeah, I saw her through a pitch. You might. You might know this. She yes. threw a ball at a baseball game, and the guy that was catching it, the keeper, I don't know if you even call it that. Sure. He came to like, <laughs> he came to high five her. <laughs> it was like a third of him. Yeah. She was like a third of him. Yeah, yeah. She's tiny, but I don't know how she generates <laughs> she that much power. Like, like that's what I'm saying. Pup, like, 
uh, per what's the foot? <laughs> pound for pound. Pound for pound. <laughs> pound for pound, bro. Four foot eight jumping twelve feet. No, no, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I agree with you. The teams thing was awesome. She won the individual. I think she's competing right now in the vault. Last time I checked, she was winning that as well. If she wins every event Not that she surprised. can, she will get the most. She's already got seven gold medals. She's in this vault one today. She's in the floor one. She's in the beam one. <laughs> she listen. She's not better than that random Russian about thirty years ago, isn't it? They but that's the thing. So that's the thing. <laughs> we definitely were not on. Uh, uh, they yes. all are still today. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty cool. She's also the oldest ever to win the overall at twenty-seven. Oh, really? Wow. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So like, she nah, is she, like she's one of those once in a lifetime athletes. Isn't it? She yeah. got the genetics to, to yeah, carry yeah. It through with the hard work. So, so I agree with with Jay. And miles. also in the men's, I don't know if you watched the men's. The men's team one was really cool as well. I didn't get to see that. So the men's team was really cool because. Japan and China, two favorites, right? And they were basically battling out the whole time. Japan were the favorites because they have the individual champion. And on the first event, the guy falls. <sighs> the first event, the guy falls, yeah? And so from that point onwards, the whole time, it was China versus Japan, trying to see who gets the upper mm -hmm. hand. Uh, uh, Japan slowly making back, making back, making back. China on the last event, which is the rings one, right? Which is mm. the, I just, the core strength on the rings one is just it's different, baby, right? Yeah. Just unbelievable. Oh, the, all the when, when they, there, when they yeah. hold the, the front pose yeah, yeah, with their yeah, legs yeah, yeah. out and they stay dead still yeah. for like 10 seconds, yeah. the core strength different. in that, you can't, you can't match all that those so of, All those just all those stabilizers in your Next whole body one. just going crazy that's why it's funny you're talking about physiques because i actually want to talk about like it's amazing in the olympics and you see all the different kinds of physiques mm. people have because yeah, a swimmer yeah. body completely different judo bodies, bodies the judo bodies <laughs> but anyway marathon bodies that's what i'm saying the walkers bro the walkers they're, they're like skin and bones the walkers are different bro walkers. so shout out put a record um yeah so then i think it was rings or it might have been bars either or but the point is the very last event china guy falls he falls over, and so basically Japan ends up winning it. Wow. So it was a pretty cool story. He's getting executed. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, anyway, do you want to show your best one? Um, My favorite. What? He's probably going to get executed when he goes back, bro. He, he thinks Xi Jinping's going to let that one slide. They to Japan. They are notorious. Japan. Yeah, it's a long day. It's a long, it's day. A long day for him, bro. <laughs> if I, if my Pakistani guy did that to an Indian, he's not seeing his family ever again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. Oh, he's gone. The Pakistani, the Pakistani, Pakistani, Pakistani guy make a final. Yeah, to be fair. No. Do they? No. no medals. Nah, bro. Allow it, innit? Nah. Your Indian guy's in the javelin, though, nah? Last time I checked, he was world, world yeah, champion. He's Olympic champion. He won gold in Tokyo. There yeah. was a Pakistani yeah. in the javelin he's as so well. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's genuinely sick. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Like and we he, won bronze in shooting. Yes. Maybe yeah. two mm. bronze in shooting? I think maybe it was an archery one, maybe, or, or mm. shooting. Mm. Uh, we've got a few medals. Yeah. Well, um, I'm not surprised. South Asians are hella hypermobile, so I'm not surprised they can eat that yeah, javelin. Now they finally figure out what javelin is. One billion people and you got three medals. That's so it is a bit embarrassing. We do mathletics, though, innit? You man getting better, bro. <laughs> um, all right, my favorite sport in the Olympics. Um, <clears throat> I think aura-wise, 100 meters, I love. Swimming, I love. Can't swim, yeah. bro, but I love swimming. Yeah. Um, aura. I think in terms of the actual event, in terms of what's actually interesting, got to be a question, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not a question. There's trotters, bro. There should not be walking in the horses. <laughs> I'll fight for that. Uh, Save I that. would say, <laughs> honestly, it's probably gymnastics. Yeah, I That's don't know what else there is. Not yeah. gonna lie. Were you saying your least or most? Like most interesting most to, to, to watch. watch. Yeah, aura side, like the actual event in and of yeah. itself. I don't know what there I is. I think there are some there? that are super underrated, like badminton. Mm. Mm. The thing table is tennis is so <coughs> quick. Yeah. Mm. Right, table like people don't understand. People overlook it because they think, yeah. oh, that's not very. See that sixty-year-old Chinese gifted. woman? Yeah, yeah. 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 But the, the amount, the reaction time they need in table tennis is unbelievable. Crazy. The thing is, a lot of these sports we watch outside of the Olympics, like football or rugby yeah. and stuff like that so it's you know, some stuff I save never watch. Save but yeah. you know what I found out the other day I never knew this before so I love watching archery when it's in the Olympics mm. I think it's, it's such a sick sport you know how far away they that's are? what I was just about Bro. to say brother. <laughs> the, the board is 70 meters brother. away 70 brother yeah. okay so I'm glad you brought that up because the next thing I was going to say and I was talking to producer Charge about this my number one favorite thing that I've watched all Olympics right the Leon Marchand winning like four golds. Who's the oh, next the big fraud? Though, the it? next big Phelps. Yeah, oh, oh, he's can't the next have big Phelps. Right? Disgusting winning Frenchie four gold medals Phelps. and he won back to back and won it like he won two gold medals in one day. Which not even Phelps did, right? That's been amazing. Simone hey, Biles hey, coming don't, back. Don't, don't, don't ever do that. Don't disrespect my Simone Biles is coming back. He's got no records left. Biles <laughs> coming back. He literally does it, which is interesting. Yeah, he's got eight in one tournament. Shut up. So <laughs> Biles coming back was epic. But the, my number one favorite thing, and it's because I never really watched archery, and the most impressive thing was the women's team archery right and so i knew that koreans are good at archery 
right? Very good. They are different at Archie on a level that's unprecedented. That I'm made me want to look it up. On the, I'm surprised Mongolia don't do well in archery. Yeah, have you maybe. not seen that meme that came out? It's, it's literally uh, America and Mongolia shaking hands, and then it said on the American side, it's like zero medals in shooting, and on the Mongolia side, zero medals in archery. Yeah, yeah, it <laughs> make, yeah that makes yeah. no they, sense. They should be good. Yeah. America should be good at shooting. Yeah, it's true. It's yeah, true. so so basically, the women's team, right? Which the way it works is there's three sets, and each person, three team, uh, sorry, two teams, three people in each team. Each person basically gets two. Yeah. bows right yeah. and the point is in one set that means you let's say if us three me Hoshu, J, we're in the team we each get one one two three one two three mm -hmm. right and it's three sets whoever gets the most points gets two first to five wins right the korean women team have won it every single year since its inception in 1988 seoul right no way yeah this was this That's was sick. number one number two china being number two this was to see whether they could win it 10 olympics in ten. a row oh, oh, don't, oh, i don't even know what happened so that's what i'm saying so that's why this that's was by insane. far the best thing and i had no idea until i turned the event on right and number one it is the most dramatic sport i've ever seen in my life it's brother. really really good to brother watch. they play music dramatic? like countdown music like they're fully taking the piss <laughs> <laughs> the Korean, by the way the koreans know that they're good at it so the stadium was packed with koreans and so it was like a proper like it felt like a um a K-pop atmosphere, mm. genuinely. Mm. Whenever the Koreans would hit a 10, they'd go wild. Oh, and see. and oh, so, yeah. so then what ended up happening is also the coach, the coach was dancing, bro. <laughs> I've never seen like, no, it was- like choreo choreographed Yeah, like I'm telling you, it, it's honestly the most like dramatizing I've ever seen in my life, right? So what happens is the Koreans need to see if they can win it 10 times row. They're versus second seed who have beaten in the world championships, okay? So there's a bit of stakes. Oh. They go, they, they, they smash it. The first two sets, they're up four nil, okay? So that means all they need to do in the final set is um tie tie whatever the score is because you mm. get if if both in that one round we get 60 at 60 which yeah. is the highest you can get we both get one point they win it mm. they're up for nil it came down to the last three they needed 29 out of 30 to get the one point they lose that it becomes 4-2 goes to the other ne next set they need 29 out of 30 again to to win it they lose that again. Oh so it goes days. from 4-0 to 4 all, and it goes to sudden death. Now, sudden death, right, is basically Jay, Hoshu, me, we each get one bow each. Oh and no. whoever team gets the highest out of 30 I wins the flipping that. event, right? Shit. And so what ends up happening is, the best way to explain it is Jay hits a shot, but it hit a 9 and a 10 boundary. So what they do is they don't know what to call it all early or not. So they do like an asterisk 9. Oh, okay. And so yeah. what happened was... They both teams got 27-27, but because the Koreans had two asterisks, which they had to take a magnifying glass, by the way, because it's so far away. They need That's to go mental. check a magnifying yes. glass, and That's they're like, mental. this is a 10, and they won the gold medal. No, no, ten no. Straight. No. It is the most That's craziest crazy. thing I've seen. You know the Chinese yeah. get executed when they get back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't remember which Olympics. Losing to Koreans and <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> 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 I don't yeah. remember which Olympics it was. I think it was maybe London or maybe Beijing. Yeah. There was a super famous story that came out of one of the Korean um, archers, because I think it was the women's as well. Yeah. Because this had only been done very rarely, like this type of technique and what actually happened. And it was crazy. So she, I think it was like, I don't know what round it was, but she was in the lead, whatever. She, her first arrow hit it right in the center of the tent. Mm. Second arrow did it, went inside the first yeah. arrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that's that. That's mental, that's, bro. Did you actually with the, um, I think it was Japanese that's volleyball or something and they played the... Was it anime music straight after? Why are you stealing my topic? How, oh. do, you know <laughs> How do you know about that, brother? I'm How do you know about I'm that? Sorry. I think I'd heard of the anime as well. Haikyuu, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They started playing Haikyuu. What, in volleyball? Yeah, yeah. Brother, they started playing the Haikyuu opening. When they won the When game Japan something. won, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What, was this the, like for a gold or was it just a normal match? This is just like a heat. Stage. Group stage. stage. They, yeah. They're in the quarterfinals now. <laughs> volleyball is a high six sport. Bro, Japanese people are so weird. Yeah. So... I need to I need to catch up with the Olympics. I need to. Start What's the worst sport? Right, worst worst event. And I'll go first because I know you man are probably going to steal a question in all the other sports. And I'm going to steal it mm. from producer Charlie because it's a good point. To be fair, when I watch the Olympics, I want to know what the highest pinnacle sport is. Right, mm -hmm. the one that's a bit fraudulent is football. That's what I'm going to choose as the worst one because oh, you know they're all like basically kids. Then all kids, you only have three or four like who are above the age of under 23s. You're not actually watching peak. The other one could be, and I'll actually say football's worse, is the boxing one because they're all semi-amateur. 
You're not actually watching peak peak, but oh. it's semi amateur. So this I'll is a that. big debate about the Olympics, right? Is why do some sports um, only allow amateurs and others allow professionals? Yeah. I never really I think, understood I think, that. I think it's because, I mean, we can kind of go sport by sport, but boxing has a sport outside of the Olympics. Swimming don't have sport outside of the Olympics and World Championships. I'm, I'm, putting, world champi- I'm putting World Championships and swimming together in one, right? If you look at uh, the hundred athletics, it's the same thing. But boxing yeah. is year-round, whatever. Football, year-round, whatever. So it kind of makes sense. But I'll tell you why I disagree. Because then it's the Euros again. It's the World Cup again. No, I know. I think <laughs> it's more so... I, my... I my hypothesis on it is the clubs would never want to do it if it had an established tradition history of football in the olympics like back in the day yeah. OG, mm. and it was every it's year world cup that's what i'm saying <laughs> yeah, it's that's what I'm the saying world cup. because it's subsidiary. <laughs> but then why don't they why don't they make every sport amateur only yeah but that's nobody wants dead, to see bro. that no but because that's why i'm saying football no, is but, it, but is it dead what why is it dead because all the other olympic only sports are basically amateurs but then yeah. where are you going to watch um where are you going to watch michael phelps then if not at the olympics World Championships? It's no, but that's what... Okay, so what I'm yeah, but if it's an Olympic-only event, yeah, yeah, yeah. then that is that entire the world for that sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so what you I'm can saying. have that's the best said, in that like sport. Swimming and stuff. Yeah, like so you can yeah. have the best there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like the football, yeah, yeah. like why why are the why are the tennis stars there? The te- like, that's what so what's the point? What disagree with why you, is tennis in the Olympics? Tennis, but the thing is, tennis is fine because all the big boys go. That's why I'm okay with From it. From that perspective, yeah. yeah. But it's that's why I'm okay. But it's so I, dumb. But then you look at other sports and you're watching it to but see we're, who is bro, the next. Do you know what we're doing right now? Gun. We're watching the French Open. We already yeah, watched that I know. two months That's ago. what I'm saying. It's, such, oh. it's so useless. It's so no, dumb. But, I agree. But, but, I've actually never thought about it, but you're absolutely yeah. right. No, but I prefer that because it still fits with the whole Olympic themes of like, you know, stronger, better, whatever. You're watching the pinnacle. That's why I'm it, saying... It's a bit, yeah. That's yeah. why I'm saying football. I agree. You either have one or the other, right? Yeah. And guess what? I 99 think percent, sports, percent it, yeah. Tennis, you're right. I think they should scrap. Uh, I don't know. Let the amateurs. 99%. 100%. Everything else is pinnacle. That's why fraudulent is. Fr- that's but, why uh, but imagine fraudulent. if imagine if for these sports that are already well known, the Olympics was a gateway for new players, that, right? That's what it should be. It should be, sports, it should, should be. We should be. Yeah. We should be able to watch this fake French Open <laughs> yeah. and be like, "Yo, this guy I've never seen him before. He's unbelievable." Yeah. And yeah, then you then watch him in the sport outside of the Olympics. Alcaraz is gonna win again. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's son a of a bitch. Bro. Hey, hey, Arsenal Puta. fan. Arsenal fan. Wait, so you guy. want you want it to be only. <laughs> Semi amateur. Semi, uh, but semi if, those if, that if a like, sport yeah. is well known outside of the Olympics, if it's well known like outside boxing, of the Olympics, boxing, yeah. football, tennis, not but swimming and archery. I don't, and I don't like right, that. Right. I'll tell you, I don't like that because most of these Olympics, you don't know who the actual stars are unless you encounter them in the Olympics. So, like, only limiting Olympics to semi amateur, you never really know who the actual big boys are. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Known Simone Biles if she was yeah, like player. if Simone Biles was never in the Olympics, you wouldn't really know. But that's what we're saying. Her. Gymnastics but that's is what one we're saying. of those sports. Like yeah, we're saying for sports that, that should be are super yeah. well known and watched but outside like, of the Olympics. That actually but have a sport outside. How many the gymnastics Olympics? tournaments have you watched outside the Olympics or outside of the gymnastic world they're championships? Because they're not on freaking TV, bro. Yeah, but like that's it's a really hard line to determine that, isn't it? Not really. Not really. All the most well known sports, right? Basketball, tennis, boxing. All the best basketball stars are the NBA stars. Other than rugby. Well, uh, other than that, like, what else is there? Everything else doesn't have a sport outside. But the thing Olympics. is, basketball's fine because you don't have Team USA. Like, they don't... They only come for the Olympics. They don't come for the Basketball World Cup. That's the thing. So, I disagree basketball. But... But you get yeah. the point, isn't it? Um, um, why, I think the good sport's really wrestling, isn't it? I need to catch up on that again That's and see what's crazy. going on. <laughs> it's literally the first Olympics. I thought Javelin was... Well, maybe like Gecko style wrestling. It's, yeah, Gekko, oh, the first Olympics was ones. Greek men running around naked. That's the yeah, but they were wrestling. Ones. Socrates uh, talks about wrestling. They all talk about wrestling. They used to do it in their schools mm. and stuff. That's also the ancient Olympics. There was a break in between as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Don't be just saying, isn't it? The right, restart it? was in France, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, shout out wrestling. I need to catch up with that. See what's going on. But yeah. What should we do? Should we call it here? There's more to discuss. There's way more to discuss with the Olympics. There's a lot. There's a lot. What do you want to do? Maybe we'll do an Olympics bite. Can do. But you don't mind. I don't want to hear it no longer again. I'll tell you that much. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) But yeah. Yeah. To be fair, yeah, that's calm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Uh, Subscribe, hit the notification bell. Please let us be in your sub box. Uh, We need to get more subscribers. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a comment. Um, spoil Deadpool for my son, please. Yes, in the comments. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, Bye.